At eight years old, Whisper Nidango is the caregiver to her family. Her father died of AIDS, and her mother, Mavida, is weak from the deadly disease. I fell sick uh, since 2004, uh, and up to now I'm still struggling with life. It's Whisper's job now to gather firewood, cook, and tend to her four-year-old brother, Washington. The future for these children is a concern for a mother who knows she is facing death. School fees is one of the um, challenges. Uh, books and food. In this distressing time, she finds comfort in the United Methodist Church's Zimbabwe Orphans Endeavor, Zoe. The project provides food, clothes, and an education to hundreds of children. Today, Whisper has a chance to start school with a new uniform and a daily lunch. Food is not only nourishment, a lot of ways food is medicine. I've talked with headmasters who have talked about kids even fainting at school because of hunger. It really goes far deeper than just the child getting food to eat and the child getting a uniform to put on. She knows that in some way uh, she is, is, is somebody special. The Reverend Greg Jenks founded Zoe three years ago. Thanks to donations, four and a half million meals are served per year, and 2,500 uniforms are given to students. Yeah. He wants to be a conductor, bus conductor. <laughs> I want to be a teacher when I finish school. <laughs> Mavita won't live to see her children grow up, but she does have hope for their futures.